Keiki Kala. Keiki in Hawaiian means children, and Kala is money. Our Kiki Kala project, our team interdisciplinary project, um, involves all four core classes. It begins with a short research project where the students choose a historical figure from one of the four core content areas and they design a dollar bill based on that person. The teachers choose which were the best representations of the person on the currency. From that point, we start to use the different types of bills in creating a team economy. On our team, we have 92 students and they're broken up into four sections. Each section becomes its own little government. Based on the government or the section, we determine the number of government jobs that is going to be available. And if there is a lot of government jobs, we eventually try and guide the students to see how that type of government has a different amount of total wealth compared to a government that has very few government jobs and the students are forced to be more entrepreneurial in getting their income or finding different ways to make money. There are always opportunities for the kids to do writing. Initially, their business proposals or their government applications uh, were an opportunity for them to use their persuasive writing skills. They had to describe what skills they had made them good for whatever job they were trying to apply for. And if they were doing their own business, then they had to promote that business and be persuasive about how to make that job work. Once we get each section with a certain amount of income, then we can use that wealth of the section to determine interest rates, taxable rates, taxable incomes, things like that. So that's where we start to bring in the math component, where the math teacher will go over different types of interest rates and ratios, and she will use the wealth of each section to determine how much interest the banks are able to provide for each section. Making it real is really important to me. For any time I've ever taught percent increase, it's confusing. Yet, when they think about their own businesses, it was kind of amazing. They were getting it. I felt really good about that. I felt good that it was practical math, and it's impressive. They figured a lot of it out. We wanted to try and expand the opportunity for students to show their talents. So we came up with the idea that they could buy materials from us, the importers, and from the materials that they bought, they could create something to sell at our market days. I had a lot of fun making my own business. I teamed up with um, kids from other sections and um, we started sewing green. We take old clothes and turn them into bags and headbands and other things. We're able to adjust the prices over time. So as inflation occurred, the materials went up in price. And so the products that they're selling start to also increase in cost. Surprisingly, teamwork came up. Kids realized within their section, well, maybe if we patronize our own businesses, then our economy will get better. We combine science into it by having them do like an energy inventory at their own home. We also try to get them to be more aware of their transportation issues. So the kids actually have to go home and talk to their parents about how many miles they travel each week. Every tax day, the kids enter all of that information into their budget sheet and they basically have to pay money for things like electricity usage or gas. We put that in there because we wanted to help the students be more aware of their own energy consumption. To supplement that, we also have a rebate form. There's five different rebates that the kids can apply for. They range from things like alternative modes of transportation, a photovoltaic research paper, a CFL research paper. The kids go home and they write the essay, they have to commit to changing something, and every tax day, the kids would get a percentage of their money back. It's to really focus on the sustainability initiatives that Punahou has, but taking it home and using it with their own families. What we really wanted to do was create an experience for the kids to go through where everything we do here is going to be connected to something else. We actually tried to make it real life where things about their life affected what they had to spend money on. I think you get more out of this project if you create your own business. Like I've learned, you know, how to work with others, um, how to price things, you know. So I, I feel like I've learned a lot more just because I've done the entrepreneur thing. So many different phases of this project. A lot of work, but you know, when the kids are really enthused about what they're doing, and really pouring a lot of effort into it, then I think, <sighs> okay, I can do this tomorrow. <laughs> I can do this, yeah. Mm -hmm.